Chinese crypto prodigy Jimmy Jong never imagined that a call to the police over a theft at his own house would ultimately land him in jail. Clark County, now one. What is your name, sir? It's uh, Jimmy Zong, Z-H-O-N-G. But back in 2012, this apparently extravagant socialite who flaunted yachts, mansions and suitcases of cash had a miserable and lonely life. This is the crazy, insane story of how a young hacker who was involved in the development of Bitcoin went on to become one of the most prolific Bitcoin thieves of all time. <laughs> Jimmy Jong, according to US media reports, is considered an OG, or original gangster, in the world of Bitcoin, which means he's a highly respected and influential figure. In 2008, Jong began studying computer science and Bitcoin mining at the University of Georgia as a freshman, later graduating in 2014. But he had already entered the Bitcoin world much earlier, in 2009, during the early days of Bitcoin development. He contributed to writing the original code for Bitcoin and early blockchain technology. Although Zhong's contributions to Bitcoin diminished in its later stages, he remained an influential figure due to his early involvement. Over the years, his wealth grew, and he purchased a lakeside mansion in Georgia with a DOS, along with yachts, motorboats, and countless luxury items. Zhong was known for hosting lavish parties and showering his friends with money, sometimes giving each friend $10,000 for shopping sprees. And Jimmy rented a really nice Airbnb, and he got everyone really nice tickets to the game also. He ended up giving everyone a budget, and that was very unexpected, you know, just having a friend giving um, all his friends that came with him on the trip money to just purchase items on Rodeo Drive. So it was kind of like, am I dreaming, you know? Like, it was a very crazy moment. Things started to take a turn downhill in March 2019, when Zhong reported that approximately 150 Bitcoins, worth tens of thousands of dollars, had been stolen from his home. Hey, uh, I was gone for the past week or so, and someone broke into my house. However, Despite an extensive police investigation, no evidence was found. I had an approximate amount to say the total value was for the money. Uh, probably close to $400,000. Zhong hired a private detective to investigate, and it was found that the thief might have been connected to Zhong's circle of so-called friends. The thief appeared to have an intimate knowledge of Zhong's home, including where the bitcoins were stored. This investigation hinted at Zhong's vulnerability to those around him who might have seen him as an opportunity rather than a genuine friend. A multi-year-old Bitcoin theft case had caught the attention of the Internal Revenue Service, IRS, Criminal Investigations Unit. The case dated back to 2012, when an anonymous hacker had stolen 50,000 bitcoins from an early dark web marketplace. The bitcoin heist had been associated with Silk Road, one of the earliest encrypted markets. Years had passed, and investigators had struggled to trace the stolen bitcoins on the blockchain without revealing the hacker's identity. The value of the stolen bitcoins had skyrocketed to over $3 billion. Then, a mistake. When the thief moved some of the stolen funds in September 2019, he made an error by transferring some worth about $800 to a cryptocurrency exchange. According to the exchange's rules, account holders needed to provide their real names and addresses. It turned out the account was registered in Jimmy Jong's name, and the transaction took place just six months after Jong had reported the theft. The IRS then sought assistance from the local police. Under the pretext of the Bitcoin theft, local authorities made contact with Zhong. Believing they were there to help him resolve his case, Zhong eagerly opened his door and warmly welcomed the investigators. In a video recorded by the police, the officers praised Zhong for his talents and even commented on how great his house looked. This flattery made Zhong even more cooperative. So beautiful. Beautiful dog. During the visit, Zhong was willing to show investigators how to obtain Bitcoin. Oh, yeah. So is this like the equivalent of your hot wallet where you say you have yeah. 100, this like is this is home. your play money? This is the hot wallet is the, and then the cold wallet is, I'm not going to tell you where it is. <laughs> However, as he opened his computer, the officers saw Zhong's Bitcoin wallet. At this point, the officers were convinced that Zhong was their suspect. 
thorough search of his residence in November 2021 uncovered a secret room in the closet with a computer containing millions of dollars worth of bitcoins. Furthermore, the use of trained detection dogs helped locate a safe buried in the basement floor filled with precious metals, uh, piles of cash and physical bitcoins from the early days of the cryptocurrency. A wallet containing a portion of the stolen bitcoins from the 2012 dark web case was also found. Zhong's guilt was clear and he was charged with wire fraud. In April 2023, he confessed to his part in the theft. Bitcoin's value had skyrocketed over the past decade and the 50,000 stolen bitcoins were confiscated by the US government. Despite a program initiated by the US government to allow victims of the hack to reclaim their bitcoin, no one came forward. Not surprising, given that Silk Road was primarily used by drug dealers, other underworld characters and their clients. Zhong, who had gone from being a victim of a bitcoin theft to a criminal, was sentenced to one year and one day in federal prison.